Let's bring down another old timer. Another Magoo. This one might might have been the best. You know, some of our favorite moments in this world are watching Joe Rogan not get the joke and get mad about not getting the joke. Well, we've told you this for a long time. Rogan, for the last few years, has been what's called Papa-ing. This is when you turn into an old useless papa and you don't know jack shit about the environment. Okay, so Joe Rogan had Harlan Williams on, a guy that, you know, years, years, I've always known Harlan Williams. We all have, right? He's been in every movie. When I was a kid, Harlan Williams was like in these movies, right? He was on TV. He was like a mainstream, I would call him a filler comic back then, where nobody was really a fan, but he was in these little things, right? Now, I remember first paying attention to Harlan as a little bit more than a filler character. So there's moth is attacking me. I think I remember hearing him on Adam Carolla years and years and years ago during the height of Carolla's podcast and going, oh, this Harlan is kind of funny. You know, he's kind of good at this and he kind of has a mean bone in his body a little bit. I love discovering this. I see this with Tim Heidecker. Uh, where these guys, they're pretending that it's just, you know, random comedy, but it does kind of have like a mean spirit to it. Harlan Williams was great on this. Uh, he destroyed David Lucas on that Kill Tony. Where was that? Was that the, that was uh, the YouTube theater? LA show, yeah. He was on with the YouTube theaters on with Adam Devine, who I was not impressed by. Thanks a lot, Adam. Uh, but Harlan Williams was great, and he really uh, he really um, got a lot of attention at that roast for being real quick. He was quicker than anybody on Kill Tony. You know, the true king, I would say, Harlan Williams. Harlan Williams goes on Joe Rogan. And you're thinking, you go, yeah, what are the, is he going to just play it straight and kind of just talk to Joe about, you know, real stuff? Or is he going to run bits? What's he going to do? Well, wait till you see what he did. He got Rogan to Papa. That <laughs> means Rogan's getting mad. Thank God it's on YouTube, huh? The King is back to YouTube. I love this song. You could hear this song playing. If you were ever in my neighborhood, you could hear this all the way down the street. This <laughs> Train by Day, Joe Rogan podcast all night. It is now 2.22 in the morning <laughs> here on the West Coast. What does that make it on the East Coast? Five? We've been on for eight hours and 52 minutes. Almost nine hours. And we're just getting into our final bit of the evening. I think you're going to really like this. Take a puff. I'll take one little puff with you guys before we watch our final bit. Thank you guys for coming out on this late, late night. Clippers, don't post all this shit till we're ready. <laughs> and um, I hate when also people post spoilers in the bring back group or even a screenshot of what I'm wearing. Let's let everyone experience the show like you guys got to seeing everything for the first time. Um, that's how I like to pretend that it works best to you. Okay, let's take a pufferoo together. We'll pray to Papa real quick. You want to get it? Is there a cute little song we can do for our last pufferoo? It could be anything here. And uh, we'll light up using my... Adam Friedland Lighter from Red Scare. Have a final pufferoo with me. Okay. Who's this bitch? <laughs> oh, wait. Lemon twigs. Couple hits. One more. Me, weed, the stuff, the kush. It's good enough. I love weed, but it's been hurting my throat. I got the humidifiers going all the time now. We got it at 52% humidity in the household. Just letting you know. Okay. <laughs> Joe Rogan, Harlan Williams, come on down. You fade that out. Here they are, my boys. I think it starts <laughs> off right away to show you the beginning, of course. Uh, I got to say, this makes me, and I hope it made you, a big Harlan Williams fan. I want to say before we even show this, shout-outs to Harlan Williams. It's nice to see someone doing real comedy. You know? This is what we're talking about. It's like, 
we want to see comedy too. The reason why we're so mad and we cover you guys all the time is because you're you're uh, shorting us. You know, like the top comics in the world should be making me and my wife laugh all the time. Don't we deserve a laugh? Harlan Williams made us laugh. So shout outs to Harlan Williams for trying to do comedy on a comedy podcast. Watch this. Here we go. Train by day, guys. Joe Rogan Podcast. Check it out. The Joe Rogan Experience. Train by day. Joe Rogan Podcast by night. All day. Wait till you see how similar we look, too. Oh, boy. I, I think I've known you for 30 years. You know how crazy that is? 30. Oh, wow, there he is. <laughs> and again, this is another guy who's kind of grown into his look. You know, I think he used to look a lot geekier and wimpier. He's kind of widened. He looks pretty good. I could probably do a little Harlan. I could have dressed up like him today had I put my hair up a little higher. Try to spike it like him. Can't do that now. I would never ruin my hair live on air. A lot of people <laughs> tune in. They really, you know, and I'm really trying. I've started really babying my hair now. Like I said, it was dry as a bone. And I was using uh, just acne toner in my hair instead of shampoo for a long time I think was stripping the color uh, as well as the uh, strength there I was d destroying my hair brittle it's breaking off so I started really babying my hair I really want my hair to be as nice and healthy as Jeff FM's hair so I'm really going to do a lot because I owe it to you to ha always have a nice head of hair a lot of people they look like schmoes on these podcasts. I think you deserve better. We're always going to try to really look nice for you here. Okay, here's Harlan <laughs> Williams. I think he looks great, and I love this look in his eye. He's ready. He's ready to party, and he's going to use his opportunity on Rogan to do some comedy, show you what comedy is, which I commend. Oh, well, Hit that I, bell. I think I've known you for 30 years. You know how crazy that is? 31. 31. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. I remember the day we met. Really? Baskin Robbins on Melrose. Really? Yeah. Did we meet at Baskin Robbins? Baskin Robbins. Listen I got one of those memories like uh, the girl from Taxi. Oh, do you really? You got a mint chocolate okay, This chip. is all a bit already. They didn't meet at Baskin Robbins. It hasn't been 31 years. Do you hear how genius this is already? <laughs> Joe goes, listen to this. Joe goes, I think I've known you for 30 years. He goes, 31. Yeah, we met at a Baskin Robbins. 31 flavors. This just goes over Joe's head. It would probably go over my head too. But as soon as I got the first one, I'd relax and I'd be so happy that somebody is performing this level of comedy. So there it is. He starts the show. Confusing Joe right off the bat. These are so good. Oh, boy. I, I think I've known you for 30 years. You know how crazy that is? 31. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. I remember the day we met. Really? Baskin Robbins on Melrose. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Did we meet at Baskin Robbins? Baskin Robbins. I got one of those memories like uh, the girl from Taxi. Oh, do you really? You got a mint chocolate chip, double scoop, and I had peanut butter and chocolate. I think you're making this up. Well, I think you're making this up. He's making this up. I was like, oh. Oh. Yeah, as soon as he was saying he's got a memory like the lady from Oh, it wasn't the Baskin Robbins part, the 31? <laughs> Do you go to do you meet people at Baskin Robbins? <laughs> Surely I, I mean I could I've been around for uh 41 years. I remember every Baskin Robbins experience I've ever had. Same, for sure. Uh there's never a time where I'm like, oh man, yeah, maybe I did meet you at Baskin Robbins. I've never met <laughs> anyone at a fucking Baskin Robbins. And I've only been to Baskin Robbins a handful of times. It's closed down. It was nice as a kid. You know what my grandma used to call it? Baskin Roberts. Had a great time. And they had a nice ice cream when I was a kid. It was chewy, gooey. Might even still be good at select locations if you get it fresh. I love this. I love he's here to play. And Joe don't know. I was like, hold on, let's see how this goes. Like, yeah, as soon as he was saying <laughs> he's got a memory <laughs> like the lady from Taxi, I was like, that, And I couldn't like, even remember yeah, so her name. <laughs> 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 now that should be it. Now Joe should understand his playfulness now. And you've known him for 30 years. I've seen Harlan Williams like six times over the course of 30 years. And I understand what he's doing. You've known him personally for 30 years. You're going to let him all fly over your head to the point where you're so aggravated. You want to kill your 30-year-old friend Harlan Williams. You're going to see he's going to want to murder him.
He gets Joe so good. <laughs> <laughs> that lady's got a crazy memory. She does. She can tell you, like, dates in 1972, what day it was. Dude, I bumped into her at a sushi joint once, Another and lie. she reenacted the day I lost my virginity. It's unbelievable. Look at she remembered it. How does she know? Look, Look at Joe's face. Virginity. It's unbelievable. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, I ran into her. She knew the day I lost my virginity. Another joke. Because she has a good memory. Right? That's what you guys were talking about. And you've already lost the thread. You're already... <laughs> what? What? And then he gets defensive when he can't figure out what's a joke and what's not. He starts getting very aggravated because it's one thing that he can't body slam. You know, he can't plunge out of this one. By the way, your body, you got to stop wearing these tight t It's time for a fucking makeover, Rogan. If you saw him in public wearing this, it's like a skin tight size XST. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You just can't think outside of this tight t Look at the sleeve height. It's like a miniature tee. If I was wearing that shirt, I'd feel naked on this show. Him and Tom split a two-pack. Yeah, him and Tom Segura with their deep Vs. There's something about that deep V. The deeper the V, the less going on upstairs. <laughs> wow. She remembered it. How does she know? Because it think was she's her. An alien? No, it was her. Oh, really? Yeah. She, she popped my cherry. She was hot back in the day. She drove my taxi. Ooh. Yeah. She uh, acted as your depot. Wait, what's her name? Mary Lou Retina? No. What is it? It's close. Mary Lou Not... Iris? No. <laughs> Cornea. Cornea. <laughs> Mary Lou Cornea. What, what was her name? Retin. Retin? No, that's the gymnast. She's the gymnast. That's, that's oh. the gymnast. What was her name? Um, is it Marley Matlin? That's <laughs> the she gymnast. Go to they, do they do this kind of shit. And Rogan's kind of thinking, okay, I got this. Oh, 510? Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens here. 510. Okay, here's a great one. I love this one. High School Musical. Speaking of human cookbooks, mm. I have a buddy who just had a kid, and they he told me him and his wife made placenta smoothies. Heard about that. And I'm sitting here... Okay, so Joe's getting it politically charged by that <laughs> sentence. Look at this. Harlan's setting up a Class A joke. You're about to hear it. But when he says he's got a friend who's eaten placenta smoothies after having a baby, look at Joe's little uh, alt-right reaction. Look at this. <laughs> Just had a kid, and they he told me him and his wife made placenta smoothies. Oh, yeah, that's that shit. That's like the litter box story, right? <laughs> Where the girl's using a litter box in school because all the schools are uh, trans only now. You know, and why drag Harlan into That's this? That's like you vegan can't... cat. Yeah, it really is. So he's going to, uh, and he thinks that maybe that's what they could bond over. Don't drag Harlan into your boomer ass shit. Okay, just let him be a funny man. Okay, this ain't about your little war here with Dave Chappelle. He told me him and his wife made placenta Glasses. smoothies. And I'm sitting here going, <sighs> what if you love them? What if you love the taste of your own kid? And one day you're with Billy at the park, and you're just looking at him, and you're like, you know, you start licking your lips like, he sure did taste good. Hmm. And then cannibalism, and you eat your own kid. I don't, I don't think it's actually eating your own kid. <laughs> Look at his face. I don't think it's actually eating your own kid. No fucking duh. <laughs> Poor Harlan. Free Harlan. So imagine what Harlan's thinking in his mind. He's going, ooh, I gotta, I gotta get this guy, <laughs> this idiot. Now, you remember how Tim Heidecker talked about Kill Tony and all that? I think he's like that too. I think he's been on Kill Tony. He went to the mothership. He saw what they're doing in Austin. He hears everybody kind of probably all the other professional comics in the world, I think, are ragging on Joe and his crew. I'm pretty sure they are uh, because there is a difference. You know, these are professional comedians. They take it seriously. Joe really and his crew, it's not professional comedy that's being done. It's popular. 
But it's not professional. It's not the craft. It's not an art, what they're doing. I think Harlan knows this. And I think he's here to piss Joe, Joe off. I think he doesn't like these guys. I think he thinks that they're not comedy. That's what I think. Watch this. You know, you start licking your lips like, he sure did taste good. Hmm. And then cannibalism and you eat your own kid. I don't, I don't know. think it's actually eating your own kid. I think it's eating the nutrients that provide nourishment to the kid while it's in the womb. It's not, <laughs> you're not eating the kid. The kid is separate from the placenta. It is? Just, yeah, the kid is an actual. Oh, know, I thought it was fetus. covered. Like, you know when, it, when a gazelle drops its baby on the Kalahari uh -huh. and it like licks all that, that film off it? Isn't that placenta? Or is that just like a pasta sauce? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like carbonara. Oh, look at that. Okay. He gets pasta sauce. He gets that. He could understand that one. So, okay, he's giving a little smile. Do we continue here or do we play something else? I know. Do you, should I go to the... Do you want, like, all the little... I'm trying to decide how many little ones Yeah, you two want. more of these big misses. Okay, and then go we'll to 1631. And then wait till you see what Harlan finally does. You're not going to believe it. ...in this park. I get right in the middle of the lion thing. There's, like, 60 lions. The car conks out. 300 degrees, no AC because it's an old junker. And I just got 60 lions just going, zebra? And I'm just sitting there. Oh no one's coming. God. Daddy's sitting there in the, in the prize. How long did you have to sit there for? I sat there for about 15, 20 minutes till they came. And I got to crack the window because it's, like it's like a dog in a Walmart parking lot. <sighs> and it was, and I, I'm sitting there going, I'm, I'm a zebra. You I'm could, sitting there. I'm a zebra. You could die of heat exposure in there. Or by getting mauled by a pride alliance. Well, Does that mean yeah. they're gay if it's a pride alliance, by the way? No, pride isn't always gay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you hear his definition of pride and what he thinks pride is. <laughs> it is Pride Month, by the way, and all of our new merch is pride-themed and has pride branding, gay pride. All over it. So if you want red bar shirts, it's all a rainbow disaster. And it's got all these pictures of trans people on it that says, I do these things to my kids, all this crap. You're never going to be able to wear the hats, everything. It's all just pictures of Robin Tran laying on her stomach, smiling with a bow in her hair, which we have drawn, hand drawn, though. So uh, hopefully you like that. It's Pride Month. The merch happened to release on Pride Month. Let's hear Joe's definition of pride. Alliance. Well, Does that mean yeah. they're gay if it's a pride alliance, by the way? No, pride isn't always gay. Okay, they look gay to me. Pride didn't used to be gay. It used to be like well, you were proud of something. Well, one of them had their hair <laughs> fluffed out. He looks pretty the, gay. It's actually in the Bible. Uh -oh. Lions, pride. they're gay? Pride. Pride. It's not good. It's Wait. not good. What is are we talking? Is it the same thing? Is it the same thing? I don't know. It's so in the saying Bible. pride, the sin, pride, the deadly sin. He's uh, saying, you see what they're doing with pride gay, parades. Gay are pride. Sick. What is it called? The pride parade? That's a sin parade. Get it? Okay. That's his message to the world. <laughs> Wait. Jesus. What are we talking? Is it the same talk? thing? Is it the same thing? I don't know. It's in the Bible. It's one of the sins. What? Pride? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's one of the... Right. Uh, yeah, there's six, like... So why would you make a thing? <laughs> Everyone knows the six deadly sins from the movie Six. I love Harlem Williams. Yeah, yeah so like, I have American pride. I love yeah. America. I yeah. do have That's American pride. That's the first thing you think of when a pro American pride. <laughs> That's crazy, man. So, when did he get obsessed with America? Like, Really? I mean, at the very least, isn't America like? And he's been on one this week, like we not the real America. Don't have time. to be into the flag in America. I have American pride. Imagine saying something like that out loud. But on I like have American pride, it's pretty cool. Anyways, he's been being so extra crazy. The yeah. Dave Smith episode. And oh the yeah. Red Band episode. He was going on like long. Something rants. is making him so physically sick with these libs. But again. He the stuff he talks about it's like he's talking about all that stuff that happened in 2018 with like Kumail Nanjiani and all those. He opened up the Dave Smith episode by going, "You know what makes me sick? Weak men, weak liberal men, just disgust me." <laughs> like, I, I don't know where what? where he's seeing that. Do they all live in your town? You live ab around? I've never seen. I live here in Tucson, Arizona. There's no, no the weakest men here are just because they're Mexican. <laughs> And they're weak because they don't have money. 
But uh, I don't see, especially out here, I never see these libs. All you see is Jake Paul type guys and Mexicans and black rifle dads. And hippies, but they look strong. Yeah, I never see these infamous libs anymore. I like literally never see them. So I wonder where is Joe, where he's constantly running into these and guys. He, I thought you lived in Austin. I thought you moved away from L.A. I know. Or... That's what I don't get. But he's going on as if, you know, there's this huge movement of the PC police. I just don't feel and that And he did anymore. this crazy speech where he was like, comedians need to learn that they can't just go up on stage and talk about vaccines all the time. Like these people are going up, they're going, woo, vaccine, get the vaccine for Clapter. Yeah. And it's which like, you're the only, only comic that does vaccine vaccine. stuff, I think. Like, find me one liberal. Where is he seeing all this comedy where they're doing comedy. pro vaccine Every comedy? Every conservative does vaccine comedy. Yeah. And sub comedy. <laughs> the sub. <laughs> Listen to this. Well, yeah, it's one of the. Uh, right. Yeah, there's six, like... So why would you make a thing that is, yeah, like, I have American pride. I love yeah. America. I yeah. do have American pride. I'm I'm a patriot. I think this is an amazing place. Yeah. Uh, the so Patriot Act. So does that mean I'm gay, or does it mean <laughs> I'm sinning? Hmm. Well, if it's just the verb, you're just... You, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The... It's like, what a yeah. flexible word. Yeah. If you're trying to learn American... Just English, means proud... Prideful. It's called gay pride, not just pride, by the way. Which is wrong. I mean, I agree with him. It's 100% wrong. There's nothing to be proud about uh, eating each other's buttholes and sucking each other's cum. There's nothing to be proud of that. That's actually disgusting. For the record, just so you know, you know. I wish he could say something that brave. Just, you, have, you know what I'm saying? It's like, what a yeah. flexible word. If you're yeah. trying to learn American, English, like how we yeah. use things, like or just English, and you spoke another language that was more logical, you'd be like, what the fuck? Why don't you have different words? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have the same word that means such different things? Like the word rose. Isn't there like- we'll never know, will we, Joe? It's a complicated one. Okay, what's our next Joe got had? Uh, 1925. Good time. Okay, let's see this from 1925. Okay, yeah. Like, to, to learn Japanese. It's like speaking Japanese is hard, but now yeah. you have to learn how to read it and write it? Like, that's extra hard. I got a story for you about that a little later. Did you learn Japanese? I sort of, well, Vietnamese. I Did sort you? Of, I sort of had to. Were you in Nam? Uh, possibly. Yeah. I did two tours in Nam. And I gotta say, SunQuest bus lines. They, <laughs> the best tours. Oh, God. Air conditioned buses. So he's like, okay. Two okay. tours. Okay. Yeah. Right. right? Tours. Yeah. yeah. Very different meaning if you're talking about yeah. going to Vietnam in 1967. Huge oh, difference. Big difference. Yeah. And yeah. I found out. Um, do you mind if I just okay. dip in? This is the part. <laughs> Everybody pay attention. This is the part. So we are 20 minutes in. He's been doing these jokes to Joe. Joe's kind of getting cranky. He's exhausted. He knows he's got at least two hours left. Can he handle this kind of nonsense? Joe kind of hates this crap. Joe hates comedy. He doesn't like when people do comedy on comedy podcasts. He wants you to talk about the culture war. That's what he likes talking about now. And nothing more. So watch what Harlan does to an already aggravated Joe. He already knows Joe's not getting any of the bits. He already knows this is all bothering Joe. It's disturbing him. Watch what Harlan does. This is where I need everyone's attention. I would like to do something to uh, uh, reward Harlan. Seriously, if there's any way, watch this. I found out. Um, Do you mind if I just dip into... uh, I brought a little something. I have to do it about every 20 minutes. I do apologize. What is it? I have to I have an eating thing I have to do. Really? Well, if you don't mind. No, no, not at all. No. Thank you. So Joe's believing this. What is your eating thing? Listen. Uh, I'm a little Listen to all this. He's fiddling with something under the desk. <laughs> Joe's worried. I have a tapeworm. For real? Yeah. Like a, it's about almost four feet. Have you ever had one? You really okay. do? So this is the thing. Remember I said the difference between a prank and a lie? You give somebody something so absurd, you give them an out. 
I've got a tapeworm. You do? Yeah. A four-footer. Really? Okay, he gave you the opportunity to just laugh along with it. But you didn't take that opportunity. Watch this. Like a, that's about almost four feet. Have you ever had one? You really do? Yeah. I never know with you, you know. I don't know if I should feel bad or stop mocking you. Well, you can do whatever. I, mean, I don't, I don't even know, want to like, bring it up. I feel this. bad if it's true. You have a real tapeworm? I do. How'd you get it, you think? I was in the Galapagos Islands recently. and uh, Okay, again, another absurd <laughs> out. He's never been in the Galapagos Islands. Listen to this story he tells, though. This is where the magic comes from. Listen to the details he's got telling this completely made-up story about how he got his tapeworm. I was in the Galapagos Islands recently, and uh, we they have a, 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 a rodent over there called the Bermuda eel rat, and it's not it's not a documented species. Oh. It's the it's the it's local. not a documented species. So Jamie, don't type anything in because you won't find this particular rodent. It's not documented. Joe still. Oh my gosh, really? Listen to the rat. And it's not, it's not a documented species. It's the, it's the local jargon. Mm-hmm. Everything evolves in, as you know, through Darwin, everything evolved over in, uh, in, in the Galapagos. Hell the yeah. tortoises, everything. It's a unique place where evolution took place. And I guess this rat became a bit elongated, its spine. And so they call it the, came off of, originally off of Bermuda, like, uh, transport ship or something right and so they eat it over there and i ate the damn thing and i got a parasite that led to a tapeworm and she's about a four footer what do they do to get out get it out well they have uh pills um but look at Joe's face. this is i don't even know if i should talk about this but i it's a little odd i sort of got attached to the little fella Oh, you like having it now? Well, you know, we, we hear all this talk about, you know, women and men, and men can have babies. They're telling men they okay. can have children. So you got a little baby tapeworm. Well, let's just say I have something living inside me, and I sort of like it. Mm. I sort of like so sometimes Joe I can feel it moving. can't determine if this is real or not. He's too afraid. He's getting really serious about this. His eyes are crusting over in this papa fashion, this angry papa. He's given him so many outs. It's for a footer. I've grown attached to the little fella. You have? You should get that removed. Watch, this gets crazy. And I sort of like it. Mm. I sort of like, sometimes I can feel it moving around. Sometimes... I'll put a piece of cheese in the bed at night, and it'll come out, and I feel like I have a tail. <laughs> and uh, so that. what I have to do is I have to... Okay, look at... Wait, you got to see Joe's face there. And uh, so... Comes out, it has a tail, it eats the cheese. So he's like almost too exhausted to even argue with this, and he literally can't follow. Uh, the, Harlan Williams just said, the tapeworm comes out of me at night and eats little pieces of cheese. And Joe is still, like, really frustrated trying to figure out if this is real or not. Okay, this gets ten times worse. Night, and it'll come out, and I feel like I have a tail. It has a tail. And uh, so what I have to do is I have to have to eat. Celery. Well, what it does, it reacts to the vibration. Okay, he pulls out a whole bundle of celery. I don't know what you call it. I can't believe those pieces are connected. I buy my celery in singular sleeves, by the way, at a very high-end department <laughs> store. But uh, he takes out a whole thing of celery, and he rips it off, and he's about to tell Joe that, you know... And Joe bought this whole premise, hook, line, and sinker about how he needs to eat. Okay, let's see what happens. Celery. Well, what it does, it reacts to the vibration of sound, and celery's kind of got the best kind of crunch... And it kind of settles the guy down. Okay. Just I just need to take a couple of bites. Watch this. Okay. Go ahead. Joe. Look what he does to Rogan. <laughs> okay, now Rogan's... Fr- Hold on. Well, if you're going to laugh. <laughs> you have to do this about every 20 minutes. 
for the tapeworm. Yeah. Settles him down. I think you're going to a bad doctor. I think you're getting bad advice. Okay, so he knows this is a bit now, but he's like sick to his stomach and he's starting to get paranoid. (laughs) So he's starting to think, okay. So this guy told me this whole story about the tape room. I was listening to him. Turns out it's another one of these stupid fucking bits. Not only that, is he trying to like troll the show by eating the loudest most noise making vegetable on the planet celery and is he really going to do this to me he's going to just cr- look me in the eye and crunch on celery so joe gives a little laugh ha ha he ain't happy watch this i think you're going to a bad doctor i think you're getting bad advice no, I just mean for me. For you. This is like a self-medicating... Yeah, I think they can get rid of those things, man. No, but what I'm saying, I've grown attached to Dimitri. I, I like probably, little Dimitri. He's probably like, um, you know, have a forced labor. But I like Dimitri. Yeah, but you can't keep a baby inside you forever. The whole idea is the baby gets born and then it goes out. Hold on, Dr. Spock. Okay. <laughs> so Joe's obviously physically annoyed. He hates this kind of crap. And then Harlan goes, hold on, Dr. Spock. Now look at Joe's face here. Joe hears, hold on, Dr. Spock, while he's already really aggravated and thinking that he's being trolled. He confuses Spock with Picard, who is bald, and almost, you know, uh, uh, instead of like, Thinking it through, he thinks, oh, I'm getting now a bald joke you're throwing at me. And he makes this face. Look at this face. All right, settle down, Dr. Spock. Watch this. But he hears Star Trek. He's thinking Picard. I'm bald. I must be Dr. Clean. Mr. Clean. Dr. Picard. Spock. Forever. The whole idea is the baby gets born and then it goes out. Hold on, Dr. Spock. Ooh. I haven't seen him like this since New Jersey. Boston or wherever this gross East Coast Italian guy is from. That's what we're seeing here. Joe is no different than just some Italian boomer idiot mafia guy. So look at that. That is him not too happy. This gets much worse. The whole idea is the baby gets born and then it goes out. Hold on, Dr. Spock. These suckers can grow up to 30 feet long. Mine's a four footer. Can they really get that big? Mm. How do they know how big is this? Would they do an MRI or something? He's going to keep crunching that cell. Well, they did, we did an ultrasound. And they could see the tapeworm inside? You can see it. Do you got a picture of that? I don't have a it's picture a handy. It's a bit. How do you not have a picture on your phone of that? Of my kid, of little Dimitri? Yeah. Seems like he'd be really sad if you didn't have a picture of him. I got to bring one in. When I come back next week, I'll bring one in. Tapeworms or... Okay, so now Joe's reading about tapeworms. He doesn't have a tapeworm. He didn't have Galapagos seasoning on his rat. Okay. Yeah, they put this Galapagos seasoning on it that they use for everything. So Harlan is like... He doesn't know what to do, so he just starts reading, even though he knows it's not true. So Joe starts reading as if now they're discussing tapeworms, and Harlan's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? (laughs) Holy. Okay. Watch this, though. Watch what Harlan does to Joe as Joe madly reads the screen. Look at this. (laughs) When I come back next week, I'll bring one in. Tapeworms or cestodes, cestodes, cestodes could range in length one meter up to 50 feet. 50 feet, dude. 15 meters. The length and width of the tapeworms can vary. So he keeps crunching on that celery, and Joe is pretending to just read that text. He doesn't hear the loud, annoying crunch in his ear that he can't believe a guest is doing. You know, Joe doesn't like when people eat on the show. Yeah, I get it. You know, chewing into the microphone, chomping it like he did on Kill Tony with his gum, that's fine. But at Joe Rogan's place, you do not eat food. Remember, I've seen him uh, yell at one of the Wartz brothers. What are they called? The uh, Eisensteins. Who are those little creeps? Weinstein. Wartz and Weinstein, yeah. Weinstein was like, oh, my blood sugar is down. You mind if I have a bite of this candy bar? And Joe's like, you better take that bite fucking quick. Weak, man. So sick of the weakness. It gets some vitamin D in your system. 
So Joe is sitting there pretending not to hear these loud crunchings, and Harlan is not going to stop. 50 feet, dude. 15 meters. The length and width of the tapeworms can vary depending upon the species. Wow. Um, pork, beef, fish tapeworms can grow to be 15 to 30 feet. Oh and Bermuda eel rats. Yeah. Do they have that there? How'd that rat taste? You know, it's kind of good. Rat. You yeah. know, they, they season it up with the Galapagos seasoning, and <laughs> it's kind of like blackened catfish, but it's like Galapagos seasoning. Mm. So you think all those people that live there probably have tapeworms? I don't know oh, if they have a, it, but I sure got it. They have to have it. If you got it, that must mean oh. everybody has it. Unbelievable. Yeah. There's... <laughs> We owe you money, bro. He's sitting there going, listen to what he says. If you got it, that must mean everybody has it. Unbelievable. Yeah. There's uh, places in the world that, like, especially, like, tropical places Watch where this. most people have some kind and of... Look, look, at, look, at, look, at, look, at, look at look at Joe. Look at oh, Joe's... Shit. First of all, look at Joe's face. He turned his mouth upside down. You see this? I could show you the curvature. This is some flat earth nonsense right here. Wait till you guys see this. Jesus. This is a line, and you draw it like this. Follow that line. You see that? He looks like just that a sharpie from line. the original movie where it gets hit in the eye. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Look at his body language. He is curled up. He is physically uncomfortable. And look what Harlan's doing while Joe's, Joe's staring Harlan right in the eye like this. I've had enough. You're ruining my play date. And look what Harlan's doing. Another giant bite of the celery. So watch this. Joe is so mad, and he's going to let it come out. We're going to see Joe kind of snap. Uh, places in the world that, like, especially, like, tropical places where most people have some kind of parasite. Crunch. It just becomes look a part Joe. of, like, your body. Look at Joe sitting through this. No one's disrespected Joe like this ever on his show. Makes you think. Out of all those thousands of guests, not one person ever, besides him, has attempted to do comedy on the Joe Rogan Experience comedy podcast. This is the first time. It's been 14 years, 3,000 episodes. Ladies and gentlemen, the first time comedy has been attempted on Joe Rogan's show. And how does Joe feel about that? Well, he's as grumpy as a ghoulie. Even the ghoulies knew how to let loose. They understood pranks Look and that jokes. Ghoulie back there is smiling is really the ghoulies. By the way, we should stop. You know, it's rude to the ghoulie to keep calling Joe a ghoulie because the ghoulies got bits. They were doing bits. They were doing panty raids constantly at the college. Real light stuff, and they killed people at the college as well. There's a lot of killing that the ghoulies did. So they're not. <laughs> they killed a lot of people. And were the parents of those people ever informed that their kid was killed by the ghoulies in freshman year of college? <laughs> they make it seem like that's just how it goes. So there's Joe. Let's see what happens here. You you now exist with that thing in you forever. Oh. You know? Have you ever had a tapeworm? No, I have not. <laughs> Do you want one? No, thanks. <laughs> no, thanks. I haven't heard. This is like immature. <laughs> Listen to Joe's demeanor now. You ever had a tapeworm? No. You want one? No, thanks. <laughs> but it's worse than that. Look. What? You you now exist with that I thing love in this. you forever. You know? Have you ever had a tapeworm? No, I have not. Do you want one? No, thanks. <laughs> What's the worst thing you've ever had? Like the worst? Oh, my God. Wait. Do you want one? No, thanks. What's the worst thing you've ever had? Oh, my papa, my grandpa, my grandpa isn't ready to have grandkids yet. <laughs> He's still mean. Grandpas are supposed to be nice as fuck. His lying. You're just a dad. <laughs> You're as mean as a fucking dad. You ain't no grandpa. Everything I compare you to is, in fact, better than you, better behaved than you. Most grandpas, it's a shame on grandpas. Look at this guy. He's all twisted up. He's so miserably mad. And he knows he's going to be the laughing stock again, and he just can't figure it out. He just can't figure out how to let loose. What does this green room hang? 
if you can't figure this one out. So you're not really having that much fun in this green room. The jokes can't be that good. It's just a bunch of Tom Segura, Tony Hinchcliffe, very basic. George Floyd, not even good George Floyd stuff. Probably you're laughing at the man. George Floyd. He hates George Floyd. I wish all black people really knew he, he what he says about George Floyd behind closed doors. I bet you mm-hmm. is some of the worst George Floyd stuff you ever heard. I'd like to tell the families of Floyd about that, about what I think he might do and say. Okay, so watch this. Harlan's not stopping anytime soon. It gets much worse. Like the worst weird ailment. Staff infection. No way. How many people on your staff? <laughs> He's getting them again. They bring up staff infection. How many people on your staff? Do you want one? No, thanks. What's the worst thing you've ever had? Like the worst weird ailment. Staff infection. No way. How many people on your staff? <laughs> <laughs> it was a small business. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, just one employee. What's a staff infection? It's uh, he knows. It's an infection that you get on your skin, and, and mm. uh, it's it, like a it's, bacterial infection. Exactly, it's really common in jujitsu, and uh, a lot you of people get to, it. and They don't uh, recognize. Twenty-seven fifty-two. Look at him. He's talking about fucking jujitsu and what's common. If it's common to get these infections during du- jujitsu, maybe you don't need to do that. Is it worth it? Hey, dude, you want to come out and get some infections with me? They're life-threatening. Well, what's in it for us? We get to grapple to the ground. (laughs) I mean, really, we got to wake up from this MMA. This is weird. Okay, what's our next code? Uh, 2752. 2752. Here on this short Joe Rogan episode, what's going to happen here? Good God. Okay, yeah, okay, we're going to do another little pun that's going to make... And look at every time we pause on Joe now, look. 27 minutes into the show, he's got this face on. Uh Uh-oh. He goes, yeah, you should get it looked at. So immediately I went to the dermatologist, and he's like, yeah, it looks like staph. And he put me in antibiotics before they even got the results of the test back. He put you on it, not your cow? My cow. I thought you said your calf. Calf, like leg. Part of your leg. See that again. (laughs) Brutal. Got the results of the test back. If I go, really? He goes, yeah, you should get it looked at. So immediately I went to the dermatologist, and he's like, yeah, it looks like staph. And he put me in antibiotics before they even got the results of the test back. He put you on it, not your cow? My cow. I thought you said your calf. Calf, like leg. The part All of your right. leg. Oh, Harlan! 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 <laughs> the Harlan Globetrotters, everybody. Just... Dribbling in circles around Joe. Like those globetrotters do. Look at Harlan. Don't you just want to give him a big hug for doing this? I love him. What a great man. Would he ever... I wonder who he confides in. Who does he talk serious with? Because we've a lot never of women. seen him. Yeah, he does get a lot of women, I think. You can tell. He's got a bunch of those flamingo blow up thing, flamingos all over the pool. He's sitting there drinking Mai Tais. He's probably lives the life. Similar to like a tiki fan. You know, like a guy who's really in. Doesn't he look like a guy who had really been to tiki, yes. tiki bar, tiki cops, pirate? He's probably got a whole nice tiki backyard oh, I would die with like to a hang smoke with machine him. and sound effects of the ship. Okay, let's see. I thought you said your calf. Calf, like leg. Boy, Part of your leg. Oh, he's furious. Oh, that one, that one, you really went out there with that one. No, he. It was hilarious. <laughs> oh, and then he stuffs the celery. That one, you that one, you really went out there with that one. <laughs> watch this, watch this. That's watch the worst it. thing. Have have you ever, ever, do you really have a tapeworm? I do. For real? Yes. Please. <laughs> what do they, they, they have you on ivermectin? What do they have you on? They don't have, they, they, they just, you, you can't get it. They, they, all they do is kill it. It right. lives, it can live in your system. Oh, wait a minute. Joe might think he's making fun of him for his horse and dewormer. What if, he is? what if he is? Wow. So Joe's might be sitting there going, wait a minute. Are you like mocking me for the whole ivermectin thing? Pretending you have a tapeworm, horse dewormer. Remember this whole crap? So in Joe's head, he's like, and it could be what Harlan's doing. I don't know enough about the real Harlan to know if he would do that. You know, because Joe likes. And Joe even brings up ivermectin to kind of address 
it head on. I think he's bringing it up here. Oh, like Ivermectin? Mm -hmm. I'm aware. I'm aware of what you're doing. I think he's testing the waters. Let's just, just... You, you can't get it. They, they, all they do is kill it. It, right. lived, it can live in your system, they told me, for your whole life. Right. Yeah, have you ever seen bears? They have them, like, sticking out of their ass. Like, oh, yeah. Like, like a fucking hose, like a garden hose, just hang down. You ever seen the uh, the worms that come out of praying mantises? Oh, yeah, it's disgusting. They're, like, they're like huge. Yeah, huge. They put a praying mantis in water, and that bastard must not have been praying enough because it's got a tapeworm <laughs> longer than Dolly Parton's ass hair. Not only that, those worms, those aquatic <laughs> worms, just watch his mouth. Hoppers into drought. Okay. <laughs> Look what Harlan's doing. So Harlan's chewing on this rotten piece of celery, probably the heart. That's a celery term. So he's chewing on the bottom or something. He's got the root end in his mouth. So he just takes it out of his mouth. He spits it out into his hand and puts it on the table. This is where Joe lets out his anger for the whole situation. Watch this. Keep your eyes on Harlan. This is a big moment. And listen to Joe. Watch this ass hair not only that those worms those aquatic worms trick grasshoppers Takes and it out of his mouth so they could be born. what are you doing man don't do no that. the pulp I what are you doing man don't do that listen to this he goes full adolescent listen to this trick grasshoppers into drowning themselves so they could be born. what are you doing man don't do no that. the pulp i the... know but don't just grab it and put it on i the know table. but it was i felt like i was chewing clean, cud man. well i put Stop. it i put it on this other okay. celery okay <gasps> you reprimanded him in a serious manner and then went, okay, okay. Listen to that again. This is big. What are you doing, man? Don't do no, that. No, the pulp. I the... know, but don't just grab it and put it on I the know, table. I know, but it was, I felt like I was chewing clean, cud. Man. Well, I put, it, I put it on this other okay. celery. Okay. Stop, I would never stop. put cud on stop, your- Stop, stop. And he's saying stop to the whole bit already. He's had enough. He, he's using the spitting thing out as a way, an excuse to stop the bit. Look at Harlan. And they're almost in a physical fight at this point. I mean, this is a lot of work for him. Yeah, to do this, you know, to use this opportunity, too, to do this. He might never be invited back. So it is ballsy. And Joe's getting really annoyed here. Uh, well, I put, it, I put it on this other okay. celery. Okay. And would, do you like his excuse? He goes, oh, I didn't spit it on the table. I put it on top of the other celery. Hey, Joe, that that checks out. <laughs> that fucking works. Oh, no, I didn't put it on the table. I put it on top. Two 60-year-old men. <laughs> I put it on top of the other celery. You can't be mad. It felt like I was chewing clean, cud. Man. Well, I put, it, I put it on this other okay. celery. Okay. Stop I would never this. put cud on your Just table. Just stop the celery. Please. Just well, stop the celery, please. There it is. Censoring comedy. Live. <laughs> this is the only person putting an end to comedy is Joe Rogan himself. Stop with the celery, he finally says. Okay. Your celery. Okay. Stop I would never celery. put cud on your Just table. Stop the celery. Please. Stop with the celery. Well, please. I don't want to meet you. And now you give him this look like grow up. Look put at cud on your Just table. Stop with the celery, please. Well. Look at this face. Please. Okay. Can we grow up already? I see what you're doing. I get it. You made a fool out of me. F. I, mean, I don't want Dimitri to get upset. D you need to reach into your asshole and pull Dimitri out. Oh, <laughs> oh he mad. And they're sitting like you need two to re feet from yeah. each other, staring at each other. Yes. In the eye. And Rogan is visibly, I haven't seen him this mad in a long time. You need to pull Dimitri out of your ass already, he says. Dimitri to get upset. The tape D worm. You need to reach into your asshole and pull Dimitri out. Well. You need to like, <laughs> you know, like with your shoulders down on the ground, ass up here, just get it. Dude. <laughs> get in there. Joseph. And, and give birth. Joseph, <laughs> dial it down. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm Does not... he ever turtle on you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Does he? That's why I call him Dimitri. One night I put out a piece of feta cheese, the Greek stuff, and mm. he went nuts. Came out. Came out, huh? Have you ever seen a uh, uh, a Burmese python? Yes. I had a <laughs> yes. lady friend over, and I guess little Dimitri got jealous. Listen to this crap. And she, I, I woke up, all I heard was, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he I looked over. There. He was, yeah. Unbelievable. Wow. How are you laying? 
Spooning. <laughs> like, where's her face? Is it like right where your ass is? Well, we spoon upside down. So like, her, the only thing that makes sense. She uses he's her. pushing this out through anger. <laughs> I mean, he's really at his wits end. Just go, oh, okay, it's fucking dementia. Yeah, okay, I'll play along here. Doesn't last long. My nose like a bicycle rack. <laughs> you have to come. Out. <laughs> That's fake laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he's had it. Yeah. It's not pretty, but he's my boy. <laughs> How long is it going to take to kill him? I don't want to kill him. This is why I'm... No, but for real, for real. How long is it going to take to kill it? Well, once you take those it's pills, you can kill it like within about three days. And you're not taking the pills? No. I'm telling you, guy, you know... I feel like I have a ch boy inside me. <laughs> wow, wait a minute. Like a child. <clears throat> okay. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. <laughs> have you seen, I want to see a photo of those bears. Mm. The bears that have oh it. So Rogan brings bears. up bears out of nowhere. So look at this. Here's where, it, this gets really genius. Harlan Williams has not brought up bears. He brought up the parasite, the tapeworm, Dimitri. The joke tapeworm. Jogan's uh, Jogan, where's that from? Uh, from me, I've done that before. <laughs> so Joe Rogan starts going, yeah, have you seen these parasites that bears have? Now how convenient, wait till you see what happens next because Harlan didn't bring up bears at all during this interview. Did Harlan know Joe would probably bring up bears today? Let's find out. Should I keep playing from here? Watch this. Disgusting. It looks like like enormous spaghetti. Oh, just it's a falling yeah. out of their ass. Oh, have you ever been attacked by a bear? No. no. Holy I'm cow. Remember, Joe Rogan brought up bears by himself. Harlan did not bring up bears. Joe Rogan brought up the bears. Now Harlan's asking, have you ever been? Okay, I'll talk about bears with you. As he's probably heard Joe talk about bear you know, many times on this show. You know, if you tune in to any random episode of Joe Rogan, you're going to hear about the coyotes, the chickens, the bears, the elk, the wolf. You're going to hear those stories. Maybe Harlan has heard those stories a few times. Let's find out. Thank you. Have you seen, I want to see a photo of those bears. Mm. The bears that have it, it's so disgusting. It looks like, like, Enormous spaghetti. Three twelve in the morning. Oh, right? it's just falling yeah. out of their ass. Oh, have you ever been attacked by a bear? No. no. Holy I'm God. here, right? From well, <laughs> you'd you, look at that. There are survivors. So Joe's showing of bears now. Coming out of his asshole. How crazy is that? Whoa! Looks like he just got married. You should put tin cans on the end of those. <laughs> look at me, that's fucking, <laughs> he's just hoping someone steps on it so he could pull it out of his ass. Yeah. Looks like he was parachuting, oh, and, he, and he yeah. landed. In. Okay, so they're talking. Joe Rogan brought up bears. So, watch this. What was that? Thirty-three ten. Yep. Okay, watch this. I don't know if it, can I can I share something with you? Please do. I'm a blueberry nut. Like I I like I might like blueberries when blueberry season hits in early spring. I'm I'm nuts about it. How's Dimitri feel about that? Well, oh, he likes you. celery. Don't give them berries. Okay. You're doing like what people do to Oliver Tree, where you're like destroying their bit. You know, the Dimitri part's over. Let it go. He doesn't want to keep adding on to the Dimitri thing. You're making him ruin his own bit. It's embarrassing for bit makers. <laughs> okay, watch this. So Harlan's going to bring up something else that he wants to talk to Joe about. Kind of funny, because Joe brought it up first. How dare you make fun of my boy, Joe. Anyway, blueberries. So uh, this was about seven years ago. I'm up on a hill in Banff, out in Canada, in the Rocky Shout Mountains. Out. Shout out, Grizz. You know Grizz, and it, I'll I'll use a line from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Remember uh, Caracatus Potts? Mm -hmm. He was the uh, father to Dick Van Dyke, and he used this line where he's singing. He goes, uh, he's doing a song in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and he does a line where he goes, "And the bear came a lolloping over the mountain." And I'm sitting there picking blueberries, and this behemoth this. comes flying over the hill. So that was a grizzly bear. It was a grizz. And uh, when they attack, they roll you. I love this. They roll and claw. And uh, I've never done this, but... He's unbuttoning his shirt. 
You are such a dork. Hey, fuck it. <laughs> he reveals bear claw scratches on his chest. So Rogan and him have been talking about bears. Rogan thought, finally, we're on to something normal. That I like. It's all been a setup the entire time. Harlan has had his shirt buttoned with his bear makeup on for over a half hour, waiting for Joe to bring up bears so that he could share his bear story (laughs) with a pre-made, pre-planned out bit where he's got these... uh, realistic bear claw scratches all over his chest. Now watch how Joe reacts to this. And uh, I've never done this, but... (laughs) You're such a dork. (laughs) He has fucking had it. He doesn't even know what to say anymore. He's gone full Boston. You are such a dork. You're like the... The Wizard of Loneliness. <laughs> this is Nathan for you, a level of anger from an older man who's being pranked. The Wizard of Loneliness. Watch this. Everyone's cheering him on, You're by the way, dork. in the chat, Harlan. They love this bit. What do you mean? <laughs> well. Watch what Joe does. Is that a real fucking tattoo? Is that a real fucking tattoo? It's makeup of bear scratches that he's trying to do. Harlan cannot believe that two feet away from you, you're confusing this. He just said, he's telling a whole story about how he was attacked by a bear. You believed every second of it. Then he shows you these fake... You know, like the stick-on wounds that are like 3D stick-on wounds that you glue on and put fake blood on. Halloween. Halloween gag from Party City. And Joe goes, is that a real tattoo? And Harlan does not know what to say now. Watch this. (laughs) Is that a real fucking tattoo? It's not not even a fake tattoo. He doesn't know what to say. Dude, this is not easy for me to talk about. (laughs) The bear came a lolloping over the mountain. And uh, that tattoo belongs to a mechanic in Idaho, and you need to give it back to him. He does. He's. (laughs) Now you got God. This idiot thinks this is a tattoo. I don't even know what to say to that. This gets worse. That tattoo belongs to a mechanic in Idaho, and you need to give it back to him. (laughs) Show? (laughs) Let me see it again. What the? Let me see it again. The bear came a lolloping (laughs) over the mountain. (laughs) But you're laughing in like a... Like the end of madness type of laugh. Like you're laughing like, "Ah, I don't even know what life is anymore. This foolish world, ha, 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 kill me. That kind of a laugh. Like, you don't find this to be funny. You're, like, giving in to, like, how you want to fucking shoot yourself. Up and over the mountain. Gets worse. <laughs> Whoa. How dare you, Is that sir? the longest anyone's ever gone for a gag? That's, that is, yeah, that's the furthest anyone's ever gone. Nope. You actually got it tattooed on your chest. So in his world of top comedians, that's the furthest thing, holding on to a gag for a half hour and then revealing it. That's the furthest anyone's ever gone for a gag that he could know. Well, hang on, guy. I'm trying to tell you I got attacked by a grizz. (laughs) You know what? Watch this. (laughs) There's more. (laughs) Oh my god! <laughs> He's gonna spit it out. He spits it celery. out again. Spits it out and again. You know what I did? I did a thing. I invented it called the the uh, jelly roll, because I'm in the blueberries. The only way to evade the grizz, I roll down the hill. He's ripping my chest straight down the hill into a river. Mm. Boom! Bouncing around like Moses Blueberry with uh, jelly. tuberculosis teeth. You making jelly as you roll through the yeah? I'm cr- Stop, crushing Joe. it. Yeah. Mm. Just... And this bear was just befuddled, just stood there, looked like Forrest Gump with a Chinese dildo up his ass. Look at Joe. Oh. He's done playing. 
Now, mountain lion, on the other hand, watch it. Can I share something with you? <laughs> Does it involve another tattoo? Well, no. The mountain lion. <laughs> mountain <laughs> lion scratches. <laughs> he. Did you glue those on? <laughs> he, what the fuck is wrong with the <laughs> mountain lion? <laughs> scrapes. He digs in with his claws. <laughs> what? Christ. What is wrong with you? Can a guy <laughs> have adventure stories in nature? <laughs> yeah, that those that makeup artist, whoever did that, they're, they're like from the Twilight Zone. Same person. <laughs> Same shitting on the work. That, that alien's head. <laughs> it fell off. <laughs> hey, you're healing by the power of Jesus. Oh, God. What's this? You're healing. So yeah. But here's where I talked to you earlier about learning Mandarin. Here's the difference between oh, the evolution of nature, mammals, critters, right. and human beings. Cut to about eight years ago. I'm on uh, the Mackenzie River, <laughs> and there's white water like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Little Vietnamese boy, a kid named Kimmy Long Wow. Freckles on his face. Unbelievable. <laughs> Tips, okay? Bears, wildcats, they just scratch. The ingenuity, the intelligence of a human. I jump in, grab little Kimmy Long Wow. He starts scratching me. Can I show you something? <laughs> Look at this. This kid... Scratched the shit out of me. And even in Chinese a panic writing. state, I had to learn Mandarin. This is Twas the Night Before Christmas. Look at you. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, man. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Blow. What was his name again? Little Kimmy Long Wow. He had freckles on his face. It looked like... um. Dolly Parton serving apple cobbler if he, he was, joined them. He, he was Vietnamese? Vietnamese boy. <laughs> what are you doing? Why would, why would a Vietnamese kid have freckles? That seems uncommon. That's what was so weird. That's what, how he stood out amongst all like, the other boys. You were just laughing. What were you laughing at? What were you laughing at? Or you just don't know what to you can. You say. don't know what to say, so this is your way of playing back. You don't look very playful right now. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't know. Okay, what's our next one? Do we have another one? Maybe we should end it with yeah. Joe trying to do a cute little gag with him. Oh, okay. So Joe There's tries a, but to do If you like this, you should watch this whole episode. Yeah, this, this is, is good. extremely funny. Okay, what's our but, next code? Uh, 010145. So Joe's loosening up a little bit. He kind of... Oh, understands. this is really, really embarrassing. <laughs> Maybe go back a little bit. Yeah, farther. so now Joe's like, I get it. I could be wacky too. So Joe, with all his anger and frustration, is trying to be bitty now. Boy, is this not a good look. Go back look. a little farther. I'm not sure if I wrote down. But yeah, yeah, like, this is probably good. Okay, let's see this. Watch Joe, and he's going to make kind of an ass of himself here. On the ground. Yeah, it's true. Right to your sack. Yeah. Do you have any <laughs> pictures of that? <laughs> okay, he does not <laughs> normally do that. Can we go back farther? Go okay, back look farther. at this. Sorry, I wrote this one down when I was in so the So even Har Harlan's <laughs> like, why are you doing this cringe shit? <laughs> Joe thinks, what are you talking about? I'm doing the same shit you're doing. Watch this. What oh. happened? Can you imagine you get just your nuts blasted by lightning? <sighs> Poor Dimitri. How bad would that suck? Wow. Just be walking along in the field going, wow, what a beautiful night. Bang. Right From up. the ground. Yeah, it's true. Right to your sack. Yeah. Do you have any pictures of that? <laughs> Out to your head. <laughs> Did you see Harlan's little face when Joe started doing this? Bang. Right From up. the ground. Yeah, it's oh. true. Right to your sack. As soon as he starts yeah. jing jing. Do you have any pictures of that? <laughs> you can't believe he's trying your kind of comedy, huh? Isn't that nuts? Then cut back to Joe. <laughs> out to your head. <laughs> Three your balls out to your head. Yeah. <laughs> You should be a sound effects guy for Ghostbusters. It sounded just like the electric chair. So he's attempting now. Does he do some more here? Uh, there's one. You can go back a little to 49, 45. 
where he does more noises, if that's what you're into. Yeah, let's see this. Hey, guy. Yeah, I just got this what phlegm happened? thing. Oh, Nothing. Maybe you've Nothing got well. phlegmin. Maybe. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Look what he's doing. Ooh, I like that. Oh. Imagine what they can smell. You ever do that noise when you're making love? No. My Why not? Go, what the fuck are you doing? Dude, it's primal. She'd Women love it. She'd get up and leave. No, I... Here's an experiment from me to you. Okay, I want you to try that. Animal noises. Next time you're making love, not to get into your purse. I respect your personal this space, but real. doggy style, <laughs> right by her this. ear. <laughs> he's pretending Carl he's a dog. <laughs> Listen to Carl. Listen to Carl. Watch this. Watch Joe. <laughs> he's making the dogs bark. <laughs> He's pretty good at wow. barking. I've never yeah, seen Carl do that. Has Carl ever wow. done that before? There's a few noises in here. I've woke him up, but he's wow. He's <laughs> fired up. That is crazy. Look at he really believes. I have a it, like if calling dogs was a thing. Yeah, I'd have a, like a really good career in call. Do it again, Joe. Your growl. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good. Dude, you Carl, gotta. Carl believes it. You gotta try that. Okay, okay. so you're a big fat. Carl, you're a big fat faggoty fool. <laughs> but oh, he's oh, trying. Oh. He's trying. Joe Rogan and Harlan Williams, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon on Red Bar. We'll see you soon. Don't go anywhere.